Spirit uh, got a recent question which was um, from someone concerned about whether or not lay people could or should be spiritual directors and what is the history of that in the church and I think that this probably comes from a, a good place of a high view of the priesthood in the sense that it ought to be priests and there's a lot of there's a lot of truth to to the, to the idea that it ought to be priests or it would be very good if it were spiritual direction was coming from priests. So um, be that as it may, the question is a good one in general. And what is the history of spiritual direction? Well, spiritual direction, of course, began with Jesus uh, teaching his disciples how to follow him. And then you have in the epistles, St. Paul, of course, after Jesus ascended, saying, follow me as I follow Christ. And and so, of course, then he's writing letters and mentoring uh, the people of God. And then you have a phenomenon that began to emerge with lay people. Funny enough, the first um, activity that looks like what spiritual direction is now, in a sense, is uh, how holy lay people would go off into the desert and um, to give their lives completely to God in a very ascetical uh, dynamic or, or life or whatever. And uh, people would go to them and ask for advice because they were obviously spending all of their time in prayer and that sort of thing. So at the very beginning, uh, a lot of this was uh, spiritual direction. A lot of the spiritual direction came from lay people or predominantly lay people. Then of course it emerged and then began to merge more with the priesthood, which makes sense because the priest is uh, commissioned to uh, provide the sacraments, care for the souls, feed the sheep, uh, that sort of thing. And uh, so over the years, the science of spiritual direction has emerged, but the church has no formal um, documents that, for instance, establish who can or can't be a spiritual director or what are the criteria for that or whatever. In our school, in the Heart of Christ School and in the Avila Institute, one of the things that I teach students in the Spiritual Direction 101 course is that everyone is called to be a witness of the gospel. So, you know, if you're recently come to Christ, come to know him, con convert to the Catholic Church, or you've had a reversion or something like that, you're called to bear witness to that and to tell people about Jesus. And as you're beginning to know what it means to follow him, then you can help others. And uh, there's this kind of progression that looks like uh, the fulfillment, in essence, of the Great Commission, which is go into all the world, um, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So this making disciples is a commission to all believers we're to be disciples and then to lead others and to help others. And so there's this level of proclamation. I can give witness to my testimony if I'm new to the faith, but I can still say, you know, this is what's happened to me. And then I can begin to um, guide or help others at a very nominal level to find the Lord and to preach the gospel, that sort of thing. And then I can become a spiritual mentor which is another level, which means that I know something and I've been following for some time. Maybe I've, you know, at some point then I get past habitual uh, mortal sin and, I, uh, and, and really making progress, daily mental prayer, living the paradigm of ascent. Then I can come to uh, maybe some level of mentorship or spiritual direction. But in our time, just a general consensus in the church, though it's not formal consensus, but a consensus among those who do formation and all of that, uh, particularly rooted in uh, John of the Cross and Teresa of Avila's teaching on the reality that someone needs to be fairly well along the way, um, fairly mature in their faith, but once they're in that state, then you can begin to lead others in something maybe uh, a little bit more um, in the realm of what you call spiritual director. In our sense, we believe that if you have the charism of spiritual direction, um, people will naturally come to you and you can uh, help them, but it's very good to get tra formal training, which is why we have the Heart of Christ Spiritual Direction School. So in the end, 
everyone is called to bear witness to the gospel, to make disciples, to be a disciple, to lead others, to mentor others. Not everyone is called to spiritual direction. That's another level of discipline that we believe should be reserved for those who are mature in their faith and in particular demonstrative ways and then uh, have some training and then have the charism for it. But yeah, lay people have been involved uh, since the beginning. Say John Paul II, you might be surprised to know, um, was mentored by a layman Carmelite, Jan Tiernowski, who was a tailor who helped him in a great way to come to holiness and to his vocation. So uh, spiritual direction is uh, for priests, for laity, for anyone who has the charism. I'll, one last word about priests, and that priests really are ideal in the sense that they have um, good, uh, usually uh, good, round, round, round formation, rounded formation in uh, moral and, and uh, moral theology, dogmatic theology, and philosophy, and of course then the precepts of the faith and the teachings of the faith. So. Uh, and they can take our confession, which means that they can see the depths, you know, the deepest, darkest um, aspects of our souls. So priests can, can, and can be very good directors. The challenge with priests is, one, they, they're not given formation in spiritual direction in seminaries as a norm, and I've actually never seen it. Um, so that's a down, downside. They're not giving formation in spiritual theology as a norm like what we teach at the Evel Institute, and we have a lot of priests who come through our program there for that reason, because they feel called to be spiritual directors but don't have uh, spiritual theological formation in their minds to do it the way they'd like to do it. So I hope that answers your question, and I hope that helps, and uh, it's important that we all recognize that we're called to help each other, uh, lead each other, and to grow in the faith and to make disciples of all nations. May Jesus Christ be praised now and forever. Amen.